This is Keith Fraser for Seconds Out. I'm with Chris Eubank, Junior's trainer, Ronnie Davis. Ronnie, great to see you again. Thanks very much, lovely. In fact, it's interesting how you laugh when I say that to you. I said it's your last time and you also laugh, but it is nice to see you again. Ronnie, just saw the press conference, obviously all the trash talking and all the hype, but this is a fight that actually really, even beforehand, I think we can honestly say he's going to live up to the hype, right? It's going to be a great fight. Whatever happens, it's going to be a great fight. I know he's going to win, which will be junior, but all the time it lasts, it'll be a great fight. I mean, I, I, when you look at Chris Eubank Jr., I have to say that I don't think I've seen a more naturally confident person or athlete. I mean, he just seems to, to ooze confidence, which is obviously a great thing because, as Henry Ford said, whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you're right. Do you think that that confidence unnerves George Groves in any way? It seemed a little bit that way during the press conference. Yeah, it looked that way to me as well. Um, a lot of fighters can be a lot of fighters can be beaten at press conferences and things like that. But he gets it. His father was great at getting other, getting into other boxers' minds and messing them up. He's got that same gift, but he is supremely confident because he knows how good he is. He knows how fit he is. He knows how strong he is. He's a powerful boy. I mean, there is that question mark there everyone comes up with it's almost like an old cliche now about his power does he become more powerful at super middleweight or is the power that he had at middleweight lesser because of his moved up in weight how do you see that he's, he's punching a lot harder at super middleweight he's got extra poundage on and um he's lean he hasn't got an ounce of fat on him and um once you get down to middleweight, he's he done it all right. But, I mean, uh, he's more powerful, obviously, at super middleweight because he eats what he likes and he does what he likes and he's, he's so fit and strong. Assuming he wins the series and he seems supremely confident, as we said, about him winning the series, do you think he will stay at this weight, win or lose? Yeah, he'll, he'll start this weight. I, I would have thought so. It will be up to him and his father about, about that, who decides on that. I'd sooner see him stay at this weight because I know how strong he is and everyone will see that Saturday night. And how do you see the fight panning out? I have my own idea as a fan. You obviously know on the inside, excuse the pun, but how do you see the fight panning out? Do you see it being a long night? Junior feels very confident he's going to knock out George Groves. How do you genuinely see this? I see, um, I just see Eubanks beating him up. Whether it's a distance or inside, he will, he will, he will beat up Jules Gross. He's got his accumulation of punches, his fitness, his freshness. Be too much for George. Well, look, I'm looking forward to this fight genuinely, and I, th I really do think it's a difficult one to call, regardless of what you, you guys say. I think all the fans are salivating. I thank you for your time, and I wish your, your man. People have been correcting me, calling him a, your boy. So I really do wish him the best of luck, and we'll speak at the weekend. Good, good, good